In the last lecture, we learned about React context and we learned that using React context, we can create a global state which we can pass to multiple components without using props. Now, in this lecture, let's learn when to use React context and when to use props in React. The general convention is when you are forwarding a state or an event handler function from one component to its child components, then using React context is a better option. For example, from this app component, we are passing this logout handler to this main header component using props. So if I go to this main header component, you will notice that we are not using that logout handler directly inside this main header component. Instead, we are again forwarding it to this navigation component using props. Now, in such cases, using React context is a better solution. So here what we can do is in the app component, let's remove this props from here. And instead, let's go ahead and let's create a new property to this object, which we are assigning to this value props here. Let's create a new property and let's call it on log out. And to this, let's assign this logout handler function. Okay. And here, remember that I am assigning a pointer of this logout handler function to this on logout property here. I am not calling this logout handler function by using a set of parentheses after this name. In this case, it will immediately execute this function, but we don't want that here. We simply want to assign a pointer of this function to this on logout property. And now what we can do is we can go to this main header component and from here also we can remove this props because we don't need it anymore. And in the navigation component where we are actually using that logout handler, using this props instead of calling this on logout on this props object what we can do is we can call this on logout on this context object okay so let me copy this context object from here and let's replace this props with this context object so this context object will be assigned with this object and this object has this on logout property which is pointing to this logout handler function so here this context dot on logout it will point to this logout handler function that means whenever this button will be clicked this logout handler function will be called let's see that in action so let's go to our web page let's enter a valid email and a valid password and let's log in here and now when i click on this logout button it should log us out so this application is still working but now instead of using props, we are using context. And let me show you one more thing here. So here on this context object, when I say context dot in the intelligence, it is showing us this is logged in property, but it is not showing us on logout property. That's because we have created this on logout property here when we are assigning this object to this value props. But in the auth context, when we are initially assigning it with an object there, we have not specified that property. And that's why in the intelligence, we are not seeing that property. So here, what we can do is we can also specify this on logout property here. And to this initially, let's assign undefined. All right. Now, if I go to this navigation component and if I say context dot in the intelligence, it should show this on logout method. Okay, let's save the changes and our application should still be working. So let's provide a valid email, a password. Let's log in. And when I click on this logout button, it should log us out. So remember that in cases when you are forwarding a state or an event handler function from one component to its child components, then using context is a better option. But when you are passing a state or an event handler function to the child component, where it is directly used inside that child component and not forwarded to its child components. In that case, using props is a better solution. For example, here in this app component, we are also passing this logout handler and this login handler using props. So we are passing this login handler function to this login component using this props. And if I go to this login component, 
you will notice that we are using that prop directly inside this login component. We are not forwarding it to the child component of this login component. So in such cases, using props is a better solution. And same is true for this logout handler. Here we are passing this logout handler as a props to this home component. And in the home component, we are directly using this logout handler. We are not passing it to its child component. That's why here also we can use props. So in most cases, you will use props to pass data from component to component because props are your mechanism to configure components and to make them reusable. Only when you have something which you need to forward through a lot of components, in that case using React context is a better solution. So I hope with these two examples, now it is clear when to use React context and when to use props to pass data from one component to another component. And as with everything in the programming, with more practice and experience, it will become more and more clearer when to use what. You can of course always rely upon props if you prefer that, but context allows you to write more concise code and it often makes managing app wide state a bit easier. This is all from this lecture. Thank you for listening and have a great day.